Hey there, everyone. I'm here with Cody. He is a photographer for DC United. Um, Cody, how'd you like to introduce yourself? My name is Cody Cervenka. I'm a DC United technically photo intern. Uh, gotcha. Started March, this past March to the spring and into the summer for the 2018 season. And uh, yeah. Awesome. So I guess I'll just start off by asking you how you got into photography. Photography, I think, spurred for my love of creativity and art. I had always been interested in arts and crafts and stuff ever since I was little. And uh, in high school, for during my freshman year, we were required to take an art class, and I had chosen pottery, like ceramics. And uh, that was really neat, and I loved that. And I ended up doing it all four years of high school. So I went to community college and started doing an associate's degree in art. And during that time, I took a darkroom photography class, and that kind of um, planted the seed for a more easily accessible type of art as opposed to ceramics, because obviously you need clay in a studio, and it's really messy. You can't see it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I love sports. Uh, absolutely love soccer. And photography was a way for me to be involved without actually being on the field. So I think that... Uh, that worked out nicely for me. So far, so good. At yeah, yeah, definitely. All, all of your photos are, are really great of the team. I think um, for people who like sports, obviously, not everyone can be a professional athlete. So finding some way to to really feel involved, um, it's it's really rewarding. Yeah, yeah, 110%. Yeah. I had no idea uh, how cool it would be until I did it, and it, it's fantastic. I don't want to stop. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So, are you from around this area? Um, have you kind of been watching DC United a lot before you started taking pictures for them this past season? Um, I'm from Frederick, Maryland, okay. which is about an hour for north uh, northwest of DC. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I had never really followed DC United. I was aware of professional soccer. Um, my favorite team had been Manchester United. Um, not for any purposeful reason. Yeah. I got FIFA 06 for my Nintendo game <laughs> back in the day. And yeah. uh, I think they were the first team that um, I guess popped out to me for whatever reason. I think Wayne Rooney was on the cover of that. Sorry to interrupt you. Yep. I th no, if no, I remember no, right. Maybe that's yeah, maybe that's why. He definitely <laughs> was. It was him and Ronaldinho. Oh, that's and funny. And maybe one other player. But yeah, uh, maybe because he was on the cover, maybe because they were a good team mm -hmm. in the Premier League. I'm not sure. But I just started playing with them. And uh, yeah, ever since, been a professional soccer fan. Never really followed Major League Soccer until I started working in the industry. The only professional soccer team I'd actually been to was the Christos FC game in Germantown, um, June 2017, when DC United came to play at the Soccer Plex for their Open Cup match. Yeah, that was that was yeah. quite a quite a game too. <laughs> it was, and I, I had picked it up because ESPN and some of the news outlets had started posting about it because of the situation with Christos and how they made it that far. Mm -hmm. And I had never been to a DC United game and because that's literally like 15 minutes from my house, I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to try it out. And yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess more going towards your photography with DC United, I wanted to kind of gauge what your experience would be like versus your average fan sort of in the stands. So what kind of moments in the games stand out to you the most when you're taking pictures of people on the field? Because from a fan's point of view, obviously, you know, when the team's attacking the goal or, you know, goalie makes a big save, that's really exciting. But is there anything in particular that stands out to you for from a f photography point of view? Yeah, that's a really interesting question because for me specifically, the types of pictures I find myself taking are the ones that my equipment limits myself to, if okay. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, 
because all, all, I my setup is maybe uh, three to five hundred dollars worth of equipment. It's it's pretty as entry level as it gets. Yeah. And um, and I use that. I try to use it to my advantage in that I don't I don't try to get upset at myself for not getting a shot that I know I could have gotten if I had the right equipment. Mm -hmm. But instead putting myself in positions and looking for certain things that I can I can do and not pay attention to the stuff I physically can't just because I don't have what it takes. So when I when I mean uh, what I'm talking about is basically like action shots during the game, I try my best, but if they're not within like 50 to 60 feet of the sideline, my the quality of the picture isn't going to be good enough to be used on any of the media outlets that they have anyways. So, yeah, during the game, I try to get stuff that could, that goes close to the sideline. And other than that, um, just try to, try to find compositions and frames that I could basically make a good quality photo out of the equipment that I have. Yeah, that, that's yeah. really interesting. Um, sort of self-aware approach to get the most out of what you've got. That's that's interesting. Definitely. If you want me to, I could walk through um, a day at Audi Field as compared to the normal fan because I had no idea what people that actually worked for the team did. Yeah, that's in it, you know? that's actually something that I wanted to ask you about what your experience was like, so go ahead and tell us. Yeah, so most of our games at Audi Field, uh, aside from the Sunday ones, were between 7 and 8 o'clock start, start time. So <laughs> I would get to the, I would get to Audi Field around 4 o'clock. And uh, most of my time spent in the press box if I'm not in the sidelines or in the locker room or something. But at 4 o'clock, I'd come, go in the press box, uh, meet with my manager, and see if she needed anything in particular for that day. Um, if it was like the kick childhood cancer month and she would she would tell me what kind of shots they're looking for if it was on forces night pride night that type of thing mm -hmm. um, if they were doing some promo shots for I don't know the cam the lightest camo hats they were handing out just anything that is the day of that they would need that was specific to that night um, just get the load down uh, any players that she had caught wind that were maybe getting playing time versus not, or, uh, I don't know, Schweitzeiger Rooney pictures, VR Rooney pictures, yeah. like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so get that low down, uh, maybe 90 minutes, hour to a 90 minutes, just uh, trying to plan out what I'm going to do for the night, uh, maybe editing photos that I hadn't gotten finished that week, uh, meet with the other photo intern, try to plan out... Um, We'll try to do that night, or just talk shop. To be honest, until yeah. the pregame activities start, maybe go down to the locker room at about five o'clock, five thirty. Um, get shots of the equi the equipment manager setting up the stuff. Um, yeah, then uh, the pre-match stuff starts. Go down to the end of the feet, or go down to the uh, end of the field where the tunnel is, and catch the players coming out pre-game stuff during the match um during the match i like to float around where the press areas aren't because i'm trying to get photos that people usually don't so especially that last columbus um yeah <laughs> playoff match it was mighty crowded as compared to the average attendance for uh photographers mm -hmm. So yeah, I try to stick around, uh, especially on the supporters end, I try to stick around near there so I can get pictures uh, if the players do decide to go up to the uh, LED boards and celebrate with the fans or just get you get pictures of you guys going wild or whatever the case may be. Absolutely. But yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, my, dark, my day starts early and then goes throughout the game and then maybe... I spend two to three hours after the game uh, editing and getting selects out just mm -hmm. so they can post it as quick as possible. And, yeah. yeah. Very cool. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a very different experience than mine and, you know, most other fans. But <laughs> that's, that's how we get all those, those great shots from the game. So everyone appreciates your work. <laughs>
Definitely. Thanks. Um, so I guess moving on from there, during the games, um, on the field, what kind of what kind of action stands out the most to you? You said you know pe- players up close to the sidelines, or anything like that. Is there like particular moments in the game that you try to look out for and be ready for, or maybe just blending between photographer and fan point of views? Um, how much do you really observe the game and, and what's going on on the field? Um, I maybe in the beginning, um, more towards the beginning of the season, at how do you feel it? I'd kind of calm myself down in <laughs> that I stopped watching the game and started taking pictures of the game. Yeah, I don't necessarily miss that much um, because I have my eye down the viewfinder. Of course, but. I uh, sometimes that happens. People mm-hmm. ask like, "Who did what?" I'm like, "I don't know." I was just taking the pictures. I couldn't even tell you to be honest with you. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of it for me was the uh, in the beginning of the season, especially um, was the self discipline to not sit there and watch, but actively seek out the shots um, that I was looking for. As mm-hmm. far as the type of action, obvi- for me, I gravitate towards set pieces and more uh, predictable. Um, waves of play just yeah. because for me it's easier to take pictures of that obviously because you can statistically predict where players will go as you can compare to what they've done in the past or obviously on a free kick at a corner you know where the action is going to be uh-huh. so that's always easy to do um especially for me because my my equipment kind of limits me in that capacity mm-hmm. but other than that just keep keep my eye down the viewfinder and just try to try to take a picture that um that i like that's yeah that's that's really cool i know from my perspective just whenever i'm at the game um Mm -hmm. something happens on the field and i want to post on instagram or or do make a story or something like that but i'm so caught up (laughs) in the action that that it it just slips me by um so yeah that can be that can be tough for sure um for for me, that really summed up a lot of the big questions that I have for you. Um, mm-hmm. Going from there, uh, I wanted to ask about kind of what your aspirations with photography are and if you plan to take photos for DC United next season and mm-hmm. maybe what other sort of photography plans you have going forward. Yeah, um, I think this definitely solidified for me that this is what I would like to do with mm-hmm. my life <laughs> that's <laughs> great simply um photography is something that's become near and dear to me and i really enjoy it especially with the soccer thing mm-hmm. um, it's it is so cool to see a team well especially obviously for dc united not necessarily a cinderella story by any means but yeah. the the climb that they did from bottom of the table to making it to the fourth place team um yeah. it is really cool to actually have a hand in that as well as you you know the fans like it, it's it's really cool to see the kind of crowds that we were bringing out to those remote games at the germantown soccer complex mm-hmm. because i had never been to rfk i never really seen what it could have oh been. yeah mm-hmm. and and then to see that transition into audi field and how how great that is and for me to have a hand in that is just a really cool feeling um that definitely solidified for me that this is what I'd like to do. I, I mean, obviously, uh, I guess any person will go through changes, and that might change for me. But as for right now, I'd I'd love to be a team photographer, not only for not really only for DC United, but for anybody that will have me. To be honest with you, but for right now, obviously, the DC metro area is probably what I'm gonna say. That's that's really awesome. Well. <clears throat> I think that that's just about all I've got for you. Um, real quick, where can where can people find you if they want to look at some of your work? That would be C R V N K A, uh, Cody Cervenka on Instagram, or you can go to C R V N K A dot com, and that would be my website. I want to I want to thank you for entertaining me and sharing some of your story with all of the DC United fans. So uh, yeah, thanks.
and I, I hope that we'll talk again soon. Yeah, definitely, Colin. I really appreciate it. It's been really fun, and uh, yeah, look forward to talking next, definitely. All right, awesome. Thanks, Cody.